Okay, so let's go through the third quiz for fall, uh, excuse me, for spring 2018. Uh, this quiz was basically on the beginning parts of chapter six, the addition reactions to alkenes. We are looking at the mechanism for hydrohalogenation. So hydro, hydrogen, halogenation, halogen. So adding an H and adding an F, a CL, a BR, or an I. So fluorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine. Okay, all of those are going to share the same mechanism. Now, a couple of points to make. Hydrohalogenation, that means we are using an acid. When we use an acid, you've got to pay attention because usually we are going to be generating a carbocation along the way. When we generate a carbocation, there's a lot that we have to consider. Uh, stability of that carbocation, shifts and rearrangements, right? Which hydrogen, excuse me, which carbon is the hydrogen added to? Which carbon is the, uh, the carbocation left on, right? Markovnikov versus anti-Markovnikov additions. So, you know, part of your, let's say, flashcard memorization goes into understanding when you have a carbocation, what you need to do, right? Now, outside from the memorization part, then we need to walk through the mechanism to understand why it happens. Okay, so one of the trip, uh, the uh, tricks of the trade, so to speak, is remember that if we have an acid, make it act like an acid. HBr is certainly an acid, and that means that it is going to act like an acid and give away its proton. So the alkene is going to come in. We grab that hydrogen, so we make a bond to hydrogen. We break a bond to hydrogen. Let's draw our alkyl chain. So if we go through and look, right, the two carbons that were involved with my double bond here, green and blue, right, let's just label over here, blue and green, uh, which one of those is more substituted? Which one of those would have the more stable double bond? Well, the answer in this case shouldn't be too much of a surprise. They are equivalent, right? So we can put that positive charge on either one of those, right? So we're looking at the two carbons involved with the double bond. We're going to put the positive charge on one of them, right? So let's put the positive charge here on the green because it feels like a green day, right? Anyway, that means we put the hydrogen over here. So our bond in orange gets put to that hydrogen. Uh, we'll just put the hydrogen in black, okay? So there's the hydrogen in black that we grabbed from the HBr. Anytime you generate a carbocation, pause, look next door to see if you can have any rearrangements. Remember when I'm talking about looking next door, right? I'm looking here or here in this case, right? That's directly next door to that positive charge. Is there a more stable carbon next door? Is there a more stable position next door? Well, to the left, there's a primary carbon. That's certainly not gonna be stable. To the right, there's a secondary carbon which has equal stability. So we've assessed that there is no more stable position for this positive charge, which means there are going to be no rearrangements or shifts. If there's no rearrangements or shifts, we can just continue on with our life, right? That means we have to finish up this mechanism. We have the plus, we have the minus, right? So let's put the plus and the minus together. Um, let's see, whoops, come on, go away, toolbar. Let's send in the... Uh, bromine, right, to hit that positive charge, to hit that carbocation, right? That means now we have bromine here, okay? There it is. Wait a minute, Dr. H, where'd that other hydrogen go? Well, remember hydrogens are understood if we're not, if we're not doing anything with it, right? If we're not doing anything with it in this step, we don't have to draw it in there, but if you want to, it's still hanging out there just with the other hydrogens. So are we done with this? Well, yes and no, okay. Well, yes, we finished the mechanism. If I'm asking you to uh, show the reaction, remember the other thing that we have to complete with this is if we generate a carbocation, remember we're gonna end up making a racemic mixture if we generate a chiral center at the end. So is our green carbon or our blue carbon, either one, right? We just picked green arbitrarily in this case, right? Is our green carbon going to be a uh, chiral center? In this case, yes. So really our answer is we make both the R and the S version of this product, right? So here is our R version and here is our S version, okay? So we make a 50-50 mix of those, roughly speaking. And so that is the mechanism and our 
products, right, for our first uh, reaction here, okay? The mechanism is this stuff. Let me highlight it here. Let me put a bread brackets around it, right? So this would be our mechanism, right? And it would lead to the two products that are bracketed in black down there, okay? So in the next video, we'll do uh, the second question uh, down here at the bottom.